Hello everyone, Chuck Ogbert here for another video review. This time we have um, Mikado. Um, so we've got milk chocolate and dark chocolate, or chocolate noir. So it says here, intense point to sell. <laughs> so I don't know if this is a French one or not, I'm not sure. It's got a Nouveau New in the top, so it does say New in it, but um, Nouveau, yes. Um, yeah, I don't know, but either way, I think I've got them both at the same place. I've never actually had these before, ever. I've never, I mean, I really like the look of them. I've always wanted to try them. They really do look up my street, you know, chocolate-covered crunchy, crunchy goodness. Um, but I've just never had them, don't know why. Um, see, this one's almost splitting open a bit, so it's, I've not actually opened it, it's just a bit like that. Um, but yeah, um, very odd, uh, I think they're called Pocos or something like that. So I had a quick look online before, got a funny name in Japan, I think it's Poco or Pico or something, I'm not sure, but um, yeah. Um, but in uh, Europe and uh, maybe other places, they're called Mikados. So I, don't know. I actually thought that um, the Mikado was a sort of stick, um, you know, it's, it, it, was, it exists and this is just something that looks like it, you know, um, but I, I don't know. I couldn't, I had, when I looked online, I couldn't see any evidence of that, so <clears throat> I might have made that up. But you can see, um, so this is what the regular ones look like, you know, sort of, uh, sort of well, I don't think it's a breadstick, but it looks like a breadstick. <laughs> They're actually a lot thinner than that, than a breadstick, um, covered in uh, milk chocolate. But this one... Now you'll notice, uh, I originally just a second ago thought it was all covered in dark chocolate, but you'll see the bottom, um, it's very much like a, rather than a bread coloured colour, it's like a chocolate cocoa coloured biscuit or whatever, or breadstick. <laughs> um, breadstick's doing it a disservice, it's not a breadstick I don't think, but, so that's interesting, I like the way they've done that, so it's not just dark chocolate, they've actually changed the, uh, the sort of biscuits um, a bit underneath as well, so you can see the difference there, sort of like the yellowy coloured thing there and the Obviously the brown coloured one there. Okay, so very nice, very nice. So I thought I'd review these together because I thought there's no point doing it separately, and then I can compare them as well. So the milk chocolate one, it says here, um, biscuits coated with milk chocolate, 49%. And the dark chocolate one says, uh, um, that's French. <laughs> so yes, <laughs> is there an English? Uh, yes. Cocoa biscuits partially covered with chocolate, 48%. So it's part and with salt, it says. So cocoa biscuits partially covered with chocolate, forty-eight percent with salt. Right. So it's forty-nine percent in this one. So it says coated with some partially is forty-eight percent, and coated is forty-nine percent. So there we go. That one percent makes all the difference. So the calorie-wise, it's a bit more straightforward on the uh, on this one, the regular one. Um, uh, each twenty-five uh, gram serving, so that's a third of the box because it's seventy-five grams in total. It's four point eight grams of fat, two point nine of which is saturated, so one hundred twenty calories. Uh, and I think it's the same with this one, 70, 70 grams actually. Well, frustratingly, um, this one's a 70 gram box apparently, uh, but it still gives you in 25 grams, so um, I think it's, yeah, okay. So we'll, probably, we'll be able to work out how many, I mean, I'm assuming they weigh about the same, so we'll be able to work it out from this one just how much is uh, 25 grams. But anyway, um, how many sticks? But it's 111, 115 calories. Um, 4.5 grams of fat, 2.6 of which are saturates. So, so this one for the same is 120. This one's the dark the milk one is 120 calories. The dark one's 115. The milk one's 4.8 grams of fat. The dark one's 4.5. And saturates it's 2.9 for the milk and 2.6 for the dark. So the dark one's slightly better for you slightly. So there we go. Oh, it says that 25 grams is 11 sticks on this one, and it does say that on this one as well. So it's 11 sticks. So there we go. Not too bad. So you can divide it by ten roughly to get um, it for one stick, can't you? Really, roughly, almost. Yeah. So it's under. Yeah. So basically, yeah, it's under. It's about ten calories, just over 10, 11 calories per stick, pretty much for each one. And um, point point five, point four, point five grams of fat, and uh, about point three of which is saturates for each for each one of these, roughly. I've told you, dividing by ten. That's what I've been doing. So yeah. Okay, so I might give you a life-sized uh, life example there. It doesn't on the, no, it does on the dark one, maybe. Um, okay, so I think uh, I think we've I think that's enough of that. So let's give it open. And just saw you before. Just there's the there's the thing that tells you. The stick thing there. Eleven to twenty-five grams is eleven sticks. And it's got the same. Yeah. Okay, so it's given open. So given both. So they open at the top a bit like a sort of. Well, cigarette packet, I guess. <laughs> I've never, never actually smoked in my life, really. So, um, okay. So if they open nicely, so they open good, I think. 
Yes. I guess you got like a foil insert there, so I'll open the other ones as well. Same way. And open as well, so there we go. So let's give it a... So... Here we go. Right. It's obviously quite nice. You can open them and... Uh, you know, have them in the box sticking out. But obviously for the review I need to... Try and get into them. It's uh, not too easy, so I'm going to use my trusty knife. It's cutting away from myself. <laughs> right, so here we go. So I've got quite a lot of them actually. Quite a lot, wow. Okay. So. I'm going to try and take them all out so we can count how many is there. Look quite nice. Smell very nice. A lovely uh, smell coming from these. So a couple of them are broken. Um, just see how many we've got. So I'll just count how many we have. So five. I'm trying to do it in groups of ten, I think. So I think that's ten. Just because they're going to roll everywhere, so I've got to try and be economical. Because <laughs> otherwise I'll just get in the tiz. So ten is twenty. And then uh, had I had a brain, I would have reversed these. So we'd. Uh, there we go. Be a good idea. So, so there we go. So we can see the difference, right? So um, here we go. So. So a couple of them are broke. Yeah. So let's just roughly do it. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's fifteen. So it's roughly it's sort of you know give or take a few broken ones. There's roughly twenty in there, roughly, um, maybe just under. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so that's fifth. Oh, hang on. No, sorry, I'm talking rubbish there. I forgot. I, I thought I'd divide them into five, so not I've never divided them to ten. So, yes, so it's twenty. Um, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is thirty. Yes, yeah, about about thirty five almost. Maybe thirty four because of the broken ones. But for instance, this one here, you know, I can't see any other parts of that. I do you know, it's this one, too. yeah, so yeah, there we go. So there's actually uh, 34, I think, actually, yeah. Having said that, yeah, 10, 20, 30. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, so 34, pretty much, that's the milk truck one. So I'll put these um, back in, leave a couple out. The reason I'm going to do is I'm going to count how many in the dark ones as well to see if we get any less, because it, it did say on the box that they weighed less. So, uh, you know, so it does imply that you get less, unless the packaging weighs less, which I doubt, because it looks exactly the same. Um, they do feel a bit like breadsticks, actually. <laughs> it does say biscuit, but they feel a bit like breadsticks. So i just move them out of the way for now. Into my trusty place over there. Okay, so let's give these, the dark ones, an open. And we'll do some comparisons once I've counted them and things. Um, okay. Right. So what do we have? We had 34, didn't we? There's a bit more bits and pieces coming off these. And so I'll do a close-up view of what they all look like in a bit. It smells nice. Well, I've got a lovely dark um, chocolate smell wafting towards me, which is nice. A bit harder to so separate these. Mind you, yeah, they okay. I'll say because they look similar on both sides, but they don't. <laughs> okay, and then... Uh, Mm, three, so assuming this one does cobble together to form a full one somehow with all the bits left. So there is less in this actually. So it's very, very strange, isn't it? I, mean, I can't. So 10, 20, um, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30, give or take this broken one. So there's uh, actually four less. So I don't know why they've done that. I mean, it seems bonkers, doesn't it, to me? Because you would have thought you'd just do the same amount in, you know, you've got the same box. Presumably the same process that puts them into other box and this I knew, but for some reason, yeah, and it's doesn't look like it's an accident because there is, as I say, 
Uh, yeah, 75 grams, 70 grams. So yeah, so very strange that, but it feel a bit like being ripped off there. I uh, have to say, I'm not not too impressed with that. So yeah, for some reason, yeah, you get um, get a few less in this one. So I mean, it's only a few less, but it's less all the same, isn't it? You know, and you're paying probably the same price, if not more, for these ones. Um, 10, 20, so yeah, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, so disappointed there's another bit in there, so yeah, not quite put along to that. Okay, so let's uh, put a few of these away, so yeah, disappointing that, because I think that's just a way of, you know, it's just, I mean, obviously to us it's only four, but obviously to Mondelez, whoever make these, uh, I think it's Mondelez, in Europe at least, you know, four for every box, and they're doing millions of boxes, um, saves them a lot, doesn't it, you know, for every, you know, roughly every eight of them or something, then it's another box they can make for free, isn't it? By scrimping us for, with that much. Okay, so um, right, so let's get a couple of these out so we can give them a, a once over. Right, here we go. Let's grab some of these as well. Okay, so here we go. So they do seem to at least be the same length, so not not um, yes, coming us on that either. So yeah, so they are the same length you can see here. So just. Side by side. I mean, roughly, of course, you know, it's probably a millimeter or so difference, but and uh, that length pretty much is. Um, let's see, my rule is not quite flat. Let's have a look. So it's roughly 13 centimeters, roughly, give or take a millimeter. And they're not very thick, they're about uh, three millimeters, four millimeters thick. So depending on the chocolate, three millimeters for the biscuit, maybe four with the, for the chocolate. So there we go. So you can see here as well, here's the difference. So obviously you can see the little mini lightsabers, chocolate lightsabers. So I don't know if you can see the, uh, hmm, I'll show you. Yeah, so you can see the slight difference in color there. One's a bit darker than the other. It's not dark, dark, the dark chocolate one, but it's uh, noticeably darker. And you can also see the stick at the end it's different as well, and it's different all the way through by the looks of it as well. So there we go. So this is a thin layer of chocolate on a, on a biscuit, basically, or a breadstick. And uh, yeah, what's the, what's the description for the dark one? Doesn't really say, does it? It's partially here. Yeah. Cocoa biscuits, there we go. Cocoa biscuits partially covered with chocolate, with salt. So it's cocoa biscuits as opposed to biscuits, so there we are. Right, well, okay, I think. Uh, We've done enough shenanigans there, so let's, uh, <laughs> hello there, you can see me now. Um, so let's give them a taste, shall we? So I'm going to, uh, I'll taste the regular milk one first. Let's give it a go, so. Hmm. Mm. Wow. I do like that. It's a very soft biscuit, so which is nice. It's not like a hard breadstick like I was expecting it. <laughs> um, this does seem to have salt in as well. It doesn't say with salt on this one, but I definitely got a salty taste. Hmm. I do like these. I can imagine them being very good. I do have a trusty uh, cup of coffee here. Very good to dip as well. Hmm. Oh yes. Hmm. That's very nice. Hmm. I could easily go through with the whole pa pack of these. I can tell you that already. <laughs> let's try the um. Let's try the uh, the dark chocolate one. So, has a does have a nice dark chocolate smell, which I like and. Um, yeah, just, just milk chocolate, but obviously it's a bit more, you can tell it a bit more with the dark chocolate. Hmm. Wonderful. Hmm. That's nice, actually, because it's um, got, it's got the dark chocolate bitterness, but uh, because it's only a coating of the biscuit, um, there's more biscuit than chocolate, basically. It's uh, quite nice because you don't get too much of a bitter taste, but you get the nice chocolate cocoa biscuit. What was it described as? Cocoa biscuit? Yeah, cocoa biscuit. Let's try a bit of a dunkage. Mm. Mm. Just warms them up actually. It just tastes warm when you eat them. It's now, but they still doesn't really melt the chocolate too much. And of course, you can go for a bit of double dippage at the same time. Always a good thing. Mm. And there you go as well. See the difference there. Mm. These are very nice. Yeah. Uh, Hmm, wow. I mean, they're so easy to eat as well. And the biscuit's nice. It's a bit of um, 
It's not a biscuit that would be nice on its own without the chocolates, I don't think. Uh, you could eat it, but um, hmm, I think you'd probably um, think it's a bit of a boring biscuit. Um, but with the chocolate, it's very nice. And I like the cocoa biscuit. I mean, I was talking about this biscuit, the cocoa one. It's not too dissimilar, to be honest with you. You know, it's a. Uh, it's, it's more mainly the colour that's different. The taste doesn't taste too much different. Hmm. Yeah. More of a gimmick than the taste difference. But obviously there'll be a subtle taste difference, you know. But um, mm, a bit of a uh, meltage. But yeah, they're very nice in there. Both them. Um, basically, it just comes down to the fact that do you like a subtle taste of bitter chocolate? And if you do, then the 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 the, the, the dark chocolate ones are the one to go for. Um. So it's very subtle, so you're not a massive fan of dark chocolate, but you do like the, the sort of the, the taste and the, uh, the experience. So these are ways to get it because um, it's not a massively, you know, it's not a ridiculously dark um, as far as the bitter taste goes. But the milk chocolate ones are lovely as well. And then, um, yeah, they're very nice. Mm. Yeah, I'd like these a lot. <laughs> mm. Yeah. The breadstick's nice, or the biscuit. <laughs> I mean, you know, you can then, um, they're going to hold as well because it's biscuit in the middle and quite a solid biscuit. You can swirl these around for a long time and nothing's going to happen. Other than perhaps the chocolate just melt away. Um, so it's really good for that reason as well. And they're still crunchy when you have them, when you eat them. They've not lost the crunch because the chocolate's sort of keeping the... Uh, Hot drink away from the biscuit. Mm, so it's, it works really well on many levels. Um, it's probably quite a solid biscuit anyway, so it might retain its hardness. But uh, yeah, they're really good. They're a bit thin. I'd probably prefer them if they're a bit thicker. I can imagine if they were bigger, it'd be even more immense. But um, I'm very happy with these. I like them a lot. I think a 4.5 out of 5 for both of them. I think they're both equally good. The the dark the sort of cocoa biscuit is doesn't really have much of a different taste to the regular one. If anything, it's probably less so, less tasty. <laughs> this one bears a bit more of a salty, savoury taste. Um, mm, but yeah, mm, I like these. I like these a lot. I say it's po possibly you could say there's too much biscuit. Uh, But, but I don't know, I don't, I don't think, you, yeah, I think that'd be a bit harsh because I think that's what it's about. And as I say, the biscuit provides a lot of, um, a lot of crunch, a lot of support when you're dunking it. Um, a little taste as well, actually. Hmm. It's just got probably just about the right balance, I think. Maybe I'd say a bit more chocolate, maybe. Um, but as I say, these are very, I mean, I'm just, you can see how quickly I'm going through them. Um, yeah, and they're both nice as well. And the chocolate, dark chocolate ones. I think um, if you don't like dark chocolate, I, I think you'll easily still be able to eat these because you know it's only a subtle bitterness, a subtle intensity, I guess. I mean, it does, you know, it's tiny there, sort of intense. You know, I mean, it isn't really like that at all. Um, if you want an intense dark chocolate flavour, I mean, that's this isn't going to help you. <laughs> um, but they are nice. They are a bit more intense, but a bit more bitter, but not really to that extent at all. It's quite subtle. Um, mm, yes, very nice in there. Mm. Mm. Yep, definitely got my approval. I mean, the only disappointing thing is, I guess you could say, as I say, it's not like not as intense as it makes it look. It makes it look like a sort of really intense, strong coffee flavour. Um, well. It doesn't make it look like a coffee flavour, but you get that sort of intense sort of um, branding on sort of certain strong coffees, don't you? And, uh, you know, it, it doesn't live up to that at all. But um, and also the fact that it's 70 grams as opposed to 75, um, even though they're in the same size box with the same size chocolates and everything. But for some reason, they give you less in this. And I think that's a joke, really. I think that's a bit ridiculous. But taste wise, everything else. Um, it's really good. So it's just a bit of a shame that they've tried to con us with that. I don't know why they've done that at all, but um, there you go. But taste-wise, they're both 4.5 out of 5. Nearly a 5. They're really, they're really nice. Really nice indeed. 
very much enjoyed that. <laughs> right, well, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed that review as well. Uh, yeah, like my video, subscribe, um, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and things like this, and um, I'll see you next time. Well, yeah, well, we'll see you next time, but um, I was about to say that I think, uh, hmm, I think I need to polish these off. <laughs> hmm, yes. Okay, well, take care, everyone. See you later. Bye for now. See ya.